I'm going to be building a bed, simple wooden bed frame for our daughter's bedroom. I'm going to go ahead and start with the slats that will be across the top for the platform to support the mattress. This is going to be a twin size bed, so we're going to be doing 39 by 75 inches. So let me get 14 boards that are 39 inches cut and remembering to cut off the ends because they're not always square. So start with the square end. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut some 2x4 runners to put underneath. This will be the main frame of it. Let me think about the next move. Probably cut a couple more boards. I'll show you guys those when I get them done. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking all these bed slats that I cut and I'm just gonna be pocket holding them. So basically putting pocket holes in the bottom so I can screw them all together. You'll see the assembly later, but first I gotta get all these done. So I got a pocket hole drilled this way and one drilled this way. So two on each end. And what I'm gonna be doing is attaching these little blocks of wood to it like that. So glue, screw it. I'm gonna put the next board up, screw it into this way. It'll make sense, we're gonna make a solid platform. We did this on a previous bed, it worked out really well, so I'm gonna do it again. Uh, this time a little bit different than the other time. I know the holes are offset, like they're gonna be up here. I'm not worried about down here because it's going to be sitting on the bed rails. That's going to give it strength in itself. That's the process that we're going to be doing is just pocket holding all these little chunks of wood and slats all together. I let this sit up overnight so the glue is completely dry and we're ready to move on with the next step which is going to be moving this out of the way and framing up the, the frame that's going to support this.
Everybody went inside, so now we can really get to work and do the dirty work. I started working on some legs. I didn't feel like filming this because you guys could see. It's really simple. Two by four, two by four. Just, you know, really simple. You notice I made one leg set smaller than the other. We're gonna have a sloped bed. If you haven't seen our video on that, you can check it back, but basically we're building an inclined bed. It's supposed to be healthier and give you better sleep. So, I got those done. I had a brainstorm. So you can see I have the leg, and the problem I had with the other bed that we built was that since the bed is at an angle, and the leg is square to the bed, the leg ends up sitting slightly at an angle. And that means the bottom doesn't touch the floor evenly. It's kind of like this. Felt pads are a little forgiving, but I wanted to fix that. So my idea was to round the bottom, and that way it wouldn't be sitting on a corner, it'd be sitting on a round spot. I happen to have this empty wire spool, and it happens to be exactly three and a half inches wide. So what I think I'm gonna try is to trace this circle out and round the bottom of the feet so that it'll sit on the floor nicely no matter what the angle that this is sitting at. This means we're gonna have to jigsaw this and I'm not a big fan of jigsawing. Kind of a hassle. Now, I'm gonna come right up. I'm having an idea of making this a little decorative. But what if I took something else? Brainstorm, I'm thinking about coming back and making kind of ball feet. So I'm just trying to imagine. It's not too bad. Let me try it on the other side, see if I like it. Let me just get a little tracing of this and just see what it looks like. I actually think I like the small one better. Let's try that. Let's try that and see how it goes. The worst case scenario, we can cut a new leg. Okay, that is a bad cut, but it's not bad. Anybody who's used a jigsaw knows that whenever you're cutting through thick wood, it is not the ideal tool. I wish I had a, a scroll saw where I could lay it on there and get a nice straight cut. Jigsaw blade is notorious for bending when you're going around a curve and you get this really lousy cut. So, uh, I'm actually not too ashamed of that for this. Jigsaw works awesome on thin wood, terrible on thick wood. I'm gonna go with it. I can sand that smooth and I don't know. I think that looks kind of cool. So let's try it out. I just cut my second one and that one came out actually a lot nicer. That's not too bad. Again, we'll sand it smooth. I don't know, this might end up being pretty cool.
All right guys, check this out. The legs, they're actually looking really cool. They sanded up really nice and I got rid of most of the imperfections. You can see they're not perfect. I could do a little better. But they're getting there. Some of them are better than others. And I'm happy with how they're coming out. So now that I got the legs done, I also put radiuses on the corners, sanded all of this smooth, got off all that glue and unevenness. I'm gonna grab my router. It's got a little round bit on it. So I'm gonna put a rounded edge all the way around, basically, just to soften up those edges. Now you'll notice that I didn't finish all the way up to those edges. You'll see why later. So you can see I left it flat right here. I'm gonna be putting something here. But we got nice soft edges. Gotta sand it down one more time. The legs are done. So happy with how these legs came out. We're gonna let the glue dry. I can hole fill those finished nails, it'll be perfect. There's one more thing I'm gonna to add to this bed, and it comes as a suggestion from you guys from the last bed build, and that was a board on the end to help keep the mattress from sliding off. Now, we haven't had any issues with the mattresses sliding on any of our beds, but since this will be at a slope, it doesn't hurt to add it, so I'm going to add a little tiny footboard just to help support that mattress and keep it in place. We're going to make sure the end is square. Let's see how that cuts. Okay, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't, but I glued these and just tacked them together with some brad nails. So that's all I did was overlap those, and you can see I actually didn't do a perfect job because it doesn't line up very well. So I'm going to sand it smooth so you lose that little edge. Let's make it match the bed now. I'm just going to route these edges, starting here all the way around. Turn around, do the same thing. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And this is looking really cool, other than a little uneven. Let me get sanded down. It'll make more sense. So here is the finished footboard. And that's gonna keep the mattress from sliding off. I don't think it would anyway, but just in case. It's gonna attach right down here, just like this. I have it all uh, rounded edges except for the flat part where it attaches to the bed. 
I gotta finish sanding it a little bit, but it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna glue it, and I hope I don't regret it, but I'm gonna glue it to the bed, screw it. I have some pocket holes down here. And then we're gonna let it sit up overnight, give it the final sanding, and it's done. The bed is finished. So I'm gonna put a lot of glue on. This has to be flush on the bottom with that side rail. It was straight. So that's on there, you guys get the picture. I put this on backwards. What do you mean? No, I'm kidding. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. I can't keep messing with this glued stuff. I'm so impatient with wood glue and I start sanding, I start doing stuff and I end up messing it all up. So I'm just gonna wait and this should be fully cured and then I'm gonna sand down all these edges so it looks like one cohesive unit. Sand this down a little bit more. And like I said, the bed will be done. But I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out. Okay guys, the bed is done. Today's a new day. The glue sat overnight, got a chance to dry, and everything is looking good and solid. I came out here this morning, gave it one last sanding, and I think we're ready to bring it in. But before I do, let me show you the up close and also a couple little upgrades that I added. You can see the footboard is attached. And that came out really nice. The only thing I probably could have done better is, I know some people will say I should have rounded these. I don't know, I was undecided about that because they attach here with the overlap and I don't want to cut into that too much and whatever. But, It'll be in from the side of the bed, so it's not that big of a deal. Now in here, I added these little blocks of wood, cut them at a 45 degree, and they come down. And those are gonna be for the legs to sit in between. And let me lift it up so you can see underneath. See them right there? And the idea is that that'll be right where the legs sit, so they can't slide around. Now I'm really happy with how this bed came out and it's definitely an upgrade from the first one we made for our master bedroom. The first bed was our learning experience, and this bed I was able to take what I learned and do some upgrades. Part of that is the feet. You guys know I like these legs because we can attach them to the bed with no hardware. That is so cool that you can quickly assemble, disassemble the bed. Now, what I did was on our original bed, I had two pieces of wood here, I just simplified it. One piece looks cleaner. Also, the rounded feet, a big upgrade because now they can be at an angle and still touch the floor nicely without looking like the bed is wonky. I love how these legs came out. The other upgrade was those little pieces of wood, these blocks that I put in that I just showed you guys. Now those blocks are installed in a way that the legs will slide in between them underneath and just has a little wiggle room so they're not tight, they slide in easily. And this is what supports the bed. But those blocks keep this in place so it can't end up, you know, shifting out of place and, and the bed falling or something. So they just hold it in right exactly where I want them. So I'm going to bring this in. You can see it's super dusty. I'm going to bring it in, rag it off of the damp rag, get all the dust off it and set it up. I'm super excited to see this bed in her room. And again, this is an inclined bed, which we explained, so it's gonna look really cool when it's set up. And I think you guys are gonna like it. Okay, we're in Belle's room. Here's her bed. This is the old bed. We gotta get this out of here. It's pretty low. I did make the new bed a little higher. Let's see if I can do this without messing up her bed. All right, we got that old nasty bed frame out of here, vacuumed up, so let's bring in that new bed.
leaving it like this. You tell me, I don't know how it goes. I like it higher up. Yeah. I think Should it looks I... a lot better. Should I see them in it, Val? Oh, it looks like a real bed. Should I see them in it? Lie down. Does no. it feel different being up higher? No, it's my turn. Maybe. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Do you like the new bed, Maverick? Mm -hmm. So there it is. The bed is done and it looks perfect. It's nice and stable. As you guys saw, the kids were jumping all over and rolling around on it and it didn't move at all. The legs look really amazing and I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a good slope. The slope turned out to be about six inches, which is what I wanted, so that's perfect. Remember the legs were only a five inch difference from each other, but since they're set in a little, the ends of the bed come out to be about a six inch rise or slope. I think this was a major upgrade from her old nasty metal bed frame. Uh, her bed was really low to the ground and was just literally plywood on a metal frame. The metal frame, those hard plastic wheels were scratching the floor all, all up and we're just happy to get that out of here. I did add a couple of felt pads to the other end so it won't bang the wall, but I haven't put anything on the feet yet. I'm going to leave them for the time being. I don't think the wood's going to scratch the floor, but eventually we may put uh, some felt under there. So this was a really fun project to make and it was definitely an improvement from the other bed and even from our first bed. Uh, these projects have been fun for me because every bit I make I get better at it. It just makes me more encouraged to be able to make other things. I've never been good at making like furniture type stuff so this is coming out really good and I'm happy with it. In fact we're actually considering building a new bed for Maverick at some point but not anytime soon just because when I built Maverick's bed, our son's bed, uh, we built it as a regular bed and I'd really like to build one like this. The slope and also raising it off the floor since he's getting older now, it wouldn't hurt to get him higher off the floor because his bed's pretty low right now too. We'll see, a future project, we'll just keep building beds forever until then we'll say, we don't like ours, we gotta fix it and we'll build new ones yeah, for us. Yeah, we'll just cycle through. Yeah. We really appreciate you guys following along. I hope you enjoyed the project and hopefully this inspires somebody or at least entertains you. We should be back soon with another video, probably working on the barn again. So until next time, take care. Bye.